I created this program about 10 years ago all by myself. This program supports almost all human languages that can be represented on Windows platform. Currently, I'm using language preference or English user interface. Windows Display Language, English United States. Also, current language for non-unicode program, English United States. But still, this program can support any human languages that is supported on Windows operating system. As you can see, English and Korean are displayed side by side. This represents each file, and each file can have different information, all in English. I can change the layout on the fly. To create such program, we need to design our software to support international languages from the start of the project development. If you want to change your user interface, for example, into Korean, I can change user interface string on the fly. It will be restarted. Now, all in English. I haven't made Chinese or Japanese translation yet. I will restore it back. Korean. Even if my window uses English user interface strings, also current language for non-unicode program English United States, my program supports all languages that are supported on Windows platform. When we create such GUI application, the biggest challenge is debugging also internationalization or localization. I solved these problems using C++ library extensions. If you click this link, you can visit C++ library extensions. I updated this library today, November 12th. If you want to follow my current session, please watch Episode 124, Multiple Languages on a Single Document. Double click this link. My current session continues from my previous episode, Episode 124. Show more, download the current video source code. Show in folder, unzip it. Rename 131, copy. Paste it in your working directory. In this folder, open up your solution. Go to Help about Microsoft Visual Studio. Please understand that I'm using Visual Studio 2022 64-bit currently version 17.4. Now close it. In the Solution Explorer, right click, Rebuild the Solution. Sadly, it won't build. It failed. So, this is talkplayfun-types.hpp. Now, this part complains. I will close it. In the Solution Explorer, Header Files, Framework.h, scroll down, scroll down, 
in this section, I will disable it. We don't need this library any longer. I will phase out C++ 17 library. Instead, I will use up-to-date C++ 20 or above. Now, rebuild the solution. It built successfully. Control F5. As you can see, in a single application, we can print out or deal with multiple international languages. Now, close it. Close it. Also, close it. In the class view, code, C code view, initial update. In this function, we displayed English, Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. When we create GUI application targeting worldwide markets, one of the biggest challenges is debugging. Second, localization. To handle localization, we need to solve character encoding. Also, language grammar. Both of these two problems are a big challenge. Debugging is by no means simple when we create GUI application. But this problem is solved if you use C++ library extensions. Character encoding, this problem is also solved if you use C++ library extensions. About language grammar, I will discuss this issue on my next episode. Now, here I declare SED W O string stream W O S A W O S B W O S output. So I created multiple stream object. I can say W O S output. I can use L. I love you, then std and there, or L, this Korean text, std and there, then L, this Japanese text, std and there. Lastly, Chinese text std and there. Now here, WOS output str c str y is giggle. I made typo. Now press Control F5. It runs successfully. Like this. Now, how can we display this text to console? We can display like this. Here, WOS. Output 
we use cpg and l please note that this is cpg and l press control f5 now here we see all garbage this part worked successfully but this part we have garbage the reason is that this console window cannot handle Asian characters because current code page is United States now close it close it close it save all we close it close all here language preference administrative language settings I will change it to Korean Korean Korea UTF-8 it did not work properly on my machine this is better so I will use Korean click OK we need to restart this session continues after restarting my machine I have just restarted my machine open up file explorer once again in your working directory folder 131 open up your solution Now press Ctrl F5. Let's see. Korean text is displayed properly, also Japanese text, but Chinese text is broken. This is because this console window cannot handle Chinese character because current code page is Korean but you don't need to concern about third things now close it we displayed at least Korean language and English properly now close it as long as you use wo string stream and the wide character string wide character string wide character string you will never have problem dealing with international languages at least on Windows GUI application your international language won't get broken now close it there is another problem SCD vector A 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So I created a vector all of B. I will copy from A, then SCD reverse B begin B end. I copied vector A to vector B, then reversed vector B. How can he debug? our computation how can we debug our parallel algorithm in GUI application it's very simple std j thread thread a i'm creating a new thread here I capture this string stream with 
L value reference. Then I capture A. A. So this is lambda function. Here, auto thread ID. I use std this thread get id this is thread id now wosa wosa is defined here w string string we can say l in thread we display thread id then tap key a we can display a then std enter now i copy this faced now this is b we capture b b this is b this is b this is b so we created thread a thread b now here thread a join we have to join thread b join so this task and this task execute simultaneously then we join the threads. Now here, how can we display SOA, the computation? We are displaying the computation executed in parallel. Okay, how can we execute these two task simultaneously and perform debugging we are not using mutex that's very simple we can use wosa cpz and there copy paste B and there. Now press Control F5. If you have this problem, source character set inconsistent with a precompiled header. If you have such problem, then you have to rebuild. Okay. You have to rebuild. Now press Ctrl F5. Now see in thread 9816, this is vector A. In thread B, 10556, this is vector B. This way, we don't need mutex to synchronize we used separate stream object then after computation we displayed using cpz and there what how can we display in this GUI application that's very easy I have to close it. 
Now, I will Ctrl K, Ctrl C. I commented out. Instead, we can write to W O R port. So, yeah, W O S R port. W O S A S D R. W O S B S D R. Now, with this, press Ctrl F5. Voila. We can output to our GUI application. Also, in our console window. It's such simple. We displayed our parallel execution without using mutex. Can debug also print out in the console. If you do not want to print out to console, then you can simply disable it. Press Ctrl F5. Now, we don't have debugging message in the console window. We only print out in our GUI application. I will close it. Please note that we can use Korean or Japanese or other international languages. Thread ID. For example, press Ctrl F5. Now it is in Korean. Close it. We can also display in the console. Now in the console we have all debugging messages. So this W string stream is a super useful. Also CPG and line. This is different from SDD and line. For example, SDD and the line press Ctrl F5 you can't see message on the console window you have to use CPG and line I will disable it Ctrl F5 if you use CPG and line. You can see debugging message or the contents of a W O string stream. This is very powerful way to do debugging. This is very powerful for debugging. Please understand that to create internationalized software, we need to concern about character encoding. Also, language grammar, human language grammar. I will address this issue in my next episode. For now, I will give you more example about character encoding. I declared WO string stream wa wide character string stream. In this case, I don't need L. This operator go to definition. This comes from C++ standard. Once again, this operator with a wide character string, wide character 
output string stream, this operator comes from C++ standard. Now, in this case, this operator comes from my own library, CPG STD extensions. We convert character string from Windows code page to UTF-16. So, by the character string, code page string uses different operator. I will close it. Close it. Press Ctrl F5. We rebuild our Korean text still works correctly. Both in console window because this console window supports Korean character. Now close it. I overloaded this operator to convert character string from window code page to UTF-16. In this case, for example, Japanese. It may or may not work. Press Ctrl F5. It seems still working, but this is not correct. Let's try with the Chinese. I disabled Ctrl F5. Now Chinese is broken. The reason it is broken is that it converts from Korean code page into Chinese. In such case, I recommend you to use wide character string. In case you are using ASCII character, as in English alphabet, you don't need to use L. In case of ASCII character string, you can use this non-unicode text or code page text like this or like this. But still, I recommend wide character string because it is faster. In this case, we convert internally. In this case, with wide character string, it does not perform conversion. Also comes from C++ standard. Now close it. Press Ctrl F5. Everything should work. Another thing I will discuss human language grammar in my next episode. Thank you.